Hey YouTube, uh, today I got another broadhead review. It's the uh, Chinese knockoff. Uh, this is the Carbon Express. Is uh, I think it's the F15 and the S16 broadhead. Um, like I said, this is a knockoff from China. Uh, it looks pretty close in similarity. I did notice a little bit of looks like glue on one side of it. I don't know what exactly that is, but kind of look like some super glue in a way, but uh, first impressions, it looks nice enough, like it'll do the job. We'll find out here shortly. I'll be shooting them on uh, on my Victory Decimators. This is, this is actually a hunting arrow of mine that's right out of the quiver. I took one of my broad heads off and uh, put this one on. Uh, let's see. I don't know what the straightness is on it. Looks pretty decent. Right out the gate, looks pretty decent. I seen the rotating. I seen the line up. This one here's got a little wobble to it. Just a little wobble. I don't know how much that's going to hurt it. We're going to find out. But we're going to be shooting these from 40 yards. And like I said, we're going to be looking for consistency and uh, grouping. So let's go back here and let me get my bow and I'll send them back down here to you from 40 yards. Okay, it looks good. See what I will do. I hate to do it. These are all my good hunting arrows. I'm gonna shoot a close pattern for you. Oh boy, I hope I don't hit one. Here we go, round two.
okay, these are flying good. They're shooting, hitting exactly where I'm aiming for it. I'm gonna try to get a tight pad this time, so I'm just, oh, I really don't want to tear these arrows up. Got a little bit of work into them, but for the video, if it happens, it happens. This time we're going for the tightest pattern I can get. Audio. Okay, well, as you can see, they're shooting dead middle where I want them to be. Like I said, just for whatever reason, I just can't make it, I can't make myself shoot so tight at these arrows that I just don't want to screw them up. I really don't. I said, I've redone the fletchings and got the FOC right, cut them the length. I mean, these things are perfect. They would probably fly a boomerang. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, they do very well. I like them. They kind of remind me of the dirt nap in a way, but they're a whole lot smaller. Um, like I said, I got these off of eBay. And I bought, uh, six of them for, uh, nine dollars, nine bucks. Um, the grains on them. Uh, range from anywhere from 99.1 and the highest one I think was 101.3 so they're right there in the range uh, I don't know what the glue is the little white substance on them but it doesn't seem to affect it um, they're decently sharp they would definitely do the job I mean, they'll slice you wide open I'm sure but uh, yeah they're still pretty stiff now they're intact, nothing's loose on it. Very easy to pull from the target, that's what I like. This is just a good arrow all the way around. Right, so I'm going to shoot them one more time. We'll be around four just to be on the safe side, and we'll be doing this again from 40 yards.
Well, there you go. Yeah, they're coming in all day. There's no doubt. If I want to get super tight with these things, I could. I have no doubt in my mind. Some things you just, you know, some broadheads you get, when you first shoot it out to the edge, you just know. I mean, the confidence is there. You have 100% confidence in the broadhead and the arrow and the whole setup. And you know you can get real accurate with it. So, you get that's my review on them. Uh, I give it a thumbs up. Definitely, it's a good buy. They do work just fantastic. And, uh, like I said, if you have any questions or any comments, anything you want to ask, uh, anything yet that I hadn't done you would like to see, just uh, feel free to send me a message. And until next time, YouTube, you have a good one.